Hi, this is Pet Dentist Joe Banyard, and in this video we'll go over guided tissue regeneration, which is a surgery that can help save teeth in your pet if periodontal disease has caused a lot of loss of bone around the tooth. It's critically important that the pet will allow the owner to brush the teeth daily and that the owner is committed to doing this daily or else the treatment will fail over time. This is our patient anesthetized and lying on her back. She has a tube in her windpipe to protect her lungs and she's all ready for surgery for us to save her right upper canine or her fang tooth. It looks normal on the outside of her mouth as the owner was brushing the outside, but the advice she had received from some YouTube videos was that it was okay not to brush the inside of the mouth, so the inside of the teeth were not brushed. That was wrong advice. This is what is found inside the mouth on the palatal side of the tooth. I'm not showing the probing depths here, but at the front of the tooth, the pocket was eight millimeters deep, and at the back of the tooth, the probing depths was five millimeters. That's how much bone was missing. See the pus coming out from underneath the gum line? Look at where the normal gum line should be. This shows you that there is a lot of gum recession, so there is a lot of bone loss underneath the gum. The only way we can see bone is with x-rays. This is the only way we can diagnose periodontal disease because it is a disease of bone loss and you can only see that with x-rays. In the x-ray of the tooth the yellow line shows you where the bone of the palate is and the white line shows you where the bone on the outside of the tooth is but where the bone should be is where the green line is. So there's a lot of bone loss on the side of the palate. The x-rays go through the gums which should be where the blue line is. Okay, so you don't see the gums on x-ray, just the bone. This is the tooth on the other side. So this is the upper left tooth. Look at where the bone height is. It's nice and high. In guided tissue regeneration, we cannot bring the bone up to where it was at the beginning, but we can build up the lost bone in the deep pocket beside the root and give it more support. This also prevents a hole called an oronasal fistula from developing. An oronasal fistula is a hole that goes from the mouth to the nose and the pet gets an infection in the nose from all the food going up into the nose. And it's very uncomfortable and they sneeze a lot and sometimes they can have a lot of discharge that drains out of their nose. As you can see in this image, the palate is cut and this allows the surgeon to see the damage underneath the soft tissue of the palate. Here you can see where the bone should be and here the pus and diseased tissues have been cleaned away. Special materials are used to fill the pocket and sometimes to carefully cover the area. A post-op x-ray is taken and this x-ray shows that there is bone substitute materials in the pocket of lost bone. Look at the area outlined in yellow. This is the bone substitute material. The body will use this as a scaffolding to create new bone and will stop other tissues that do not develop into bone from invading into the area. The flap is now sutured back in place and this is the bird's eye view of what this looks like. And here is the front view. And as you can see, all the incisor teeth have been extracted and this is because of advanced periodontal disease. This is the same tooth looking at it from inside the mouth. The pet went home with medications to control pain and infection. It's very important for these cases to be allowed to heal first before brushing the teeth. This patient was checked several times and the sutures were taken out. The owner brushed her teeth daily and at 13 and a half weeks, we anesthetized her again to, to check the pockets around the tooth and to see if the procedure was successful and also to do a teeth clean. This is the front view and this is the view from inside the mouth. It looks similar to how it looked before, but there's no pus. The probing depth in this location is one millimeter and in this location, it is two millimeters. Notice how healthy the gum looks. Here is the x-ray taken to check to see if the procedure produced new bone. 
and this is the new level of bone. So this has been a very successful surgery. Here is the outside surface of the tooth. Look how healthy the gums look. The other canine tooth is used for comparison and looks similar but the bone height is normal. So no loss of bone has happened in the tooth. So this shows you the degree of gum recession that has happened in the other tooth. This little dog's owner has done a wonderful job of home care and her little friend has benefited from her vet and her owner's decision to seek advanced treatment for her right upper canine tooth. For more information, you can check these sources. For a veterinary specialist near you, please go to the avdc.org website and look at the upper right corner of the web page. Click on the symbol and you will find a map of locations of AVDC specialists around the world. Thank you for watching and subscribe, like and share these videos. Help your friends and relatives understand veterinary dentistry also.